वेलकम टू पार्ट वन ऑफ एस सी नाइन हंड्रेड आई ऑलवेज शो माई सर्टिफिकेट सो दैट यू कैन ट्रस्ट ऑन माई आंसर्स ओके दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट क्लाउड अडोप्शन फ्रेमवर्क यू गॉट टू रिमेंबर द वर्ड डी पी आर ए जी एम टू टैकल क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू फेजेस ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट क्लाउड अडोप्शन फ्रेमवर्क फॉर एज अ जस्ट रिमेंबर डायफ्रम विच इज लोकेटेड इन ह्यूमन बॉडी इफ यू आर हैविंग ट्रेवल रिमेम्बरिंग दिस वर्ड लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन ए दैट इज डिफाइन स्ट्रेटेजी If you look at the word that is this one, diaphragm, that is strategy, defined strategy fits in here. That is this letter D, as it's the first phase and also before adopt phase. As per the question, we need answers after the adopt phase, right? Hence, this option seems to be incorrect. Let's look at option B, that is govern. If you now look at this word, govern fits here. That is G. If you look after adopt. that is g falls after a right hence this seems to be one of the valid answer we'll keep this let's look at option c that is ready if you look at this again that is r word is just before this a if you look at the question it's asking after adopt right not before hence we'll reject option c as it seems incorrect option d is manage and therefore it's the last letter manage and definitely it will fall after adopt anyway so we got our two answers and before locking the correct answer if you look at the official documentation we have this phases in this order so i have made it super easy for you to remember and will lock b and d as a correct answer in the interest of time all right this question is related to electronic information and which can be used for evidence in legal cases seems interesting question let's look at option e that is as a sentinel as a sentinel is related to security analytics which is an ai based right in the question there is no mention of ai or security hence this seems to be incorrect option for this let's look at option b that is computer vision computer vision is again ai service that analyzes content in images and videos question is related to identifying electronic information and not images or videos hence this seems to be again incorrect and if you want to go more about or learn about more about artificial intelligence then i have a separate course ai 900 specially for you absolutely for free you can look at the course let's look at option c now that is e discovery quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords such as electronic information or evidence then e discovery should strike in your mind we'll keep this option aside for the timing let's still look at option d customer logbox customer logbox provides an interface for customers to review and approve or reject customer data access request seems incorrect we'll reject this and before locking if you look at the official documentation under e discovery electronic information and can be used for evidence in legal cases we got our answer we'll lock this all right this question is related to zero trust principles you got to be familiar about the concepts as it's very important with respect to security of azure let's look at option a or the first box that is use least privilege access is one of the zero trust principles least privilege access helps ensure that permissions are only granted to meet specific business goals from the appropriate environment and on appropriate devices this is one of the zero trust principle seems true hence we'll mark this as yes let's look at box b that is verify explicitly is one of the zero trust principles verify explicitly means we should examine all pertinent aspects of access request instead of assuming trust based on weak assurance like network location this is again one of the zero trust principle seems true let's look at box 3 that is assume breach zero trust principle helps ensure that permissions are only granted to meet specific business goals if you read this line assume breach zero trust principle this doesn't quite look good right instead least privilege option or least privilege fits in here that is it is a principle helps to ensure the permissions are only granted to meet specific business goals hence this option seems incorrect hence we'll mark this as wrong and if you look at the official documentation we have three zero trust principle that is verify explicitly use least privilege access and assume breach you can have a look 
at it in the interest of time we'll lock this as the correct answer all right this question is related to granting temporary or time bound access we have similar in oracle cloud that is pre authenticated request or pair since we are in azure we'll more interested in this let's look at option a that is mfa mfa adds extra layer of security can be text messages on your mobile phone this question is about granting temporary access right and not about how to secure your resources seems incorrect we'll reject this let's look at option b that is azure bastion azure bastion provides secure and seamless rdp or ssh connectivity to virtual machines directly from the azure portal over tls this will not help you in getting temporary access to the resources as asked in the question hence option b seems again incorrect let's look at option c that is azure sentinel sentinel is related to security analytics which is ai based in the question there is no mention of ai or security hence this is again incorrect quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords related to granting temporary access or time bound access or just in time privilege then pim should strike in your mind hence option d looks good and if you look at the official documentation under pim it's clearly written that it's time bound and just in time we got our answer and we'll log this okay this question is related to best practices and documentation let's look at option a that is microsoft cloud adoption framework we'll keep this option aside as cloud adoption framework contains best practices in some way let's look at the other options as well option b is rbac rbac is like identity and access management using rbac you can segregate duties within your team and grant only the amount of access to users that they need to perform their duties seems incorrect we'll reject this let's look at option c that is resource lock resource lock helps to prevent accidental deletion or modification of your azure resources again this quite doesn't seem or fit our correct answer because the question is about best practices and documentation hence we'll reject this let's look at option d that is microsoft best practices documentation this seems just a distractor as there is no such thing as microsoft best practices documentation i'm hearing for the first time hence we'll reject this option as well and if you look at the official documentation under cloud adoption framework for microsoft provides best practices and documentation we got our answer and we'll log this and if you like the way i explain please hit the thumbs up button because a lot of hard work goes in behind the scenes while making these videos all right this question is related to compliance and meeting the regulatory requirements let's look at option a that is cost management and billing there's no relation between billing and regulatory requirements as asked in the question seems incorrect let's look at option c now that is service trust portal service trust portal is related with compliance and regulatory requirements also if you see keywords such as regulatory then service trust portal can be the potential answer we'll keep this option for the timing let's look at option b and d together that is data protection portal and security compliance portal there's no such portal as data protection or security compliance in azure seems just a distractor hence we'll reject this option and seems like we got our answer and before locking if you look at the official documentation under service trust portal that is it provides information about compliance and data protection and regulatory requirements and there are several standards with uh, especially gdpr soc iso nist you got to remember this and will log this as the correct answer for this all right this question seems to be a no brainer because we have all hands on experience especially if you are into it field let's still walk through all the options first option is password hash synchronization password hash synchronization synchronizes the hash of a user's azure ad and on prem active directory passwords this question is related to adding extra layer of protection or security right hence we can reject this option as password hash synchronization is more related to synchronization let's look at option b that is mfa we know that mfa adds extra layer of security like biometrics can be face id fingerprinting or text messages which we receive on phone we'll keep this option aside let's look at option c password write back is a feature in azure ad connect which allows password change on the cloud to be written on the on prem active directory question is about sign in process and not about changing passwords right hence 
will reject this option. Let's look at option D that is pass through authentication. Pass through authentication allows user to authenticate with the same password on both Azure AD and on-prem Active Directory. This quite doesn't fit our requirement as per the question, hence we'll reject this as well. If you look at the official documentation that is MFA provides additional entity verification such as scanning fingerprint, entering code received by the phone that is it adds extra layer of protection. We got our answer and we'll log this. Please subscribe and press the bell icon and select all notification because I regularly upload videos related to high paying ID certification which will boost your IT career. Alright, this question is again related to authentication techniques. Seems easy because we might be familiar about this. Let's still look at option A that is secret question. Answering secret question is related to recovering a password. This has no relation with MFA, right? And seems to be incorrect option. Let's look at option B that is calls. Calls and text messages are basics of MFA, right? Which we'll keep this option aside. Let's look at option other options that is option C, social media notification. I haven't heard about social media notification or social media for MFA purposes. Seems incorrect, we'll reject this. Let's still look at last option even if we get the two answers because it's very necessary to verify the last answer otherwise you'll end up choosing one wrong answer. Microsoft Authenticator. Using Microsoft Authenticator app, we can get push notification to approve sign-ins. We know that this can be again used as MFA. Seems like we got our two answers and before locking if you look at MFA or multi-factor authentication, it sees broad range of flexible multi-factor authentication methods such as text, calls, biometrics and one-time passcodes as well and we have Microsoft Authenticator here and there are several other strategies as well but as per the question, we'll log B and D as the correct answer for this. Alright, this question is literally protecting workloads from threats. Seems interesting, let's look at option A that is Azure Bastion. Azure Bastion provides secure and seamless RDP or SSS connectivity to VMs. We know that Bastion is no way related to threats, hence we'll reject this. Let's look at option B that is Azure Sentinel. Sentinel is related to security analytics which is AI based. In the question there is no mention of artificial intelligence or security. Quite doesn't fit our requirement, we'll reject this. Option C is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Whenever you see keywords in the question like threat detection or threats or phases talking about threats then chances of Microsoft Defender as the correct answer is very high. We'll keep this option aside. Let's look at option D that is Microsoft Secure Score. Secure Score is a measurement of an organization's security posture with a high number indicating more improvement actions taken. This option seems incorrect as per the question and before locking if you look at the official documentation Microsoft Defender for Cloud helps strengthen the overall security posture from evolving threats. We got our answer and we'll lock this. All right, this question is related to cloud security and privacy. If you pass this exam, please do leave a comment below. We can celebrate together and I'll personally congratulate you. Let's look at first box that is no content based targeting is a key principle of security and privacy. No content based targeting is related to targeting ads via email, chat, etc. This is one of the key principle of cloud security and privacy. Hence, this box seems to be true or yes. Let's look at box two that is control is key principle of cloud security and privacy. Control is related to controlling your privacy with easy to use tools seems again a correct option. Last statement is transparency is not a key principle of cloud security and privacy. This not word doesn't fit in right. Transparency is again one of the key principle of cloud security and privacy which tells about transparency about data collection and use for informed decision. This seems to be no because of the not word and always remember this there are several key principles for cloud security and privacy you got to remember this so let's meet again in next part so please 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 don't go away